still hurts even this day like i go out there for work when i come back i try to lie down and my back is on fire i still have those pregnancy hormones even after having the baby they stay for some time before leaving yeah hi guys how are you doing i hope you're all fine and keeping safe if you're new here my name is masha I am a YouTuber based in Nairobi, Kenya, and to my channel subscribers and viewers, thank you for always coming back and clicking on my videos. Road to 1K, guys. Uh, if you're watching this video and you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. Like this video, share the link with your friends, and uh, help me get there. Okay, I'm zooming in. I, I tried recording this video yesterday night, but I did not finish recording the video yesterday. I was so tired. I literally spent the whole day out there working. So when I came back in the evening, I started recording and oh, I was just so exhausted. You know, I decided, you know what? I'm not going to kill myself. I know it's a challenge. I'm doing the 100 days challenge every day. I want to post a video. But sometimes it's just so overwhelming. You can see even my face. Let me tell you, I had serious sunburns. You know, my face reacts so much to the sun. Like when I'm out there. Uh, that is why I love being indoors. It even makes my skincare routine not to work. <laughs> but anywho, as you've already seen according to the title of the video, the truth about having a baby at 20 years. How much should I say 19? Because I got pregnant when I was 19. Let's get right into it. I put up on WhatsApp. I asked you guys. My contacts because it was just on WhatsApp, not on any other social media platform. And I asked uh, my contacts to tell me anything they'd like to know about having a baby at 20 years or 19, whichever. And uh, a lot of questions came up, okay? And uh, I've written those down here in my notebook. I had this notebook since I was like, since 2021. Now it's actually older than my baby, <laughs> so I wrote those questions down, and now I'm going to be addressing those. I know some some questions are being repeated. Some I already answered in my video of pregnant at 19. That was the second video I ever did on this channel. So if you did not watch that video, please also go and watch. It's the second video on this channel. Okay, let's get started. The first person asked. Uh, how did your mother react after finding out you're pregnant? I answered that in that video, but I'm just going to make it short. My mother is a mother, okay? Even in the worst times, even when your parents are so mad about you, they'll still stand by you. So I, I was not staying with her physically at the time, so I only got to tell her through phone. My sister had actually already told her before me. So, you know, there are those times that she used to be really scared. She... she she would think like, it's going to be so hard on me you see she used to pity me <laughs> but she'd still pray for me she'd still tell me not to lose hope she was a mother okay <laughs> i thank god for her i really love my mom and then uh, there's this one who said talk about the guilt okay let me talk about the guilt guilt comes in two ways when you're a mom okay there's the guilt that comes when you're a mom at 20, let me talk about when you're a mom at 20 years or 19 years. So guilt comes in two ways. First, before you have the baby, when you just realize you're pregnant, especially if you've gone to school and you've learned for like two semesters <laughs> and then you've gotten pregnant. Hey, yeah, yeah. You start feeling like you've let down your parents. You start feeling like you're not a good example to your siblings. You start feeling, any you, there is a, it's a whole, Roller coaster of emotions. One day you're happy, one day you're sad, one day you're guilty. Then you just feel guilty for a lot of things. Okay? And then now, after the baby, this one is experienced by even older people, like from the experiences I've had and stuff, because I mean, a couple of mom groups. This mom guilt, this is whereby you feel like you're not doing enough for your baby, you're not, you're not being the best parent the baby should have. like say you want to go out and have fun with your friends and something but then you remember you have a baby so you feel like actually this is not fair on him or her 
um, uh, you and you cannot carry them along or you want to order food because they're tired to cook but then you're like okay they need their own well prepped milk and, or meal or something so guilt is there <laughs> and this happens to people who even have multiple babies like mom guilt is real okay hi someone told me loss of friends yo um, my heart goes out to anyone who lost friends because they had a baby earlier, like 19 or 20. And that is true. It happens. It happened to me also. You know, there are friends who will never leave your side. And do you know who those friends are? Your family. Only your family. These other friends, mm -mm. <laughs> they not be there every step of the way. Let me just be honest with you guys. Um, When you realize you're going to have a baby... And uh, your friends, the friends you used to hang out with, work with, they don't have babies. They simply detach. They think, they feel like there's nothing much to relate with. So imagine you used to have these friends you're hanging out with, you're going to Cherez, you're going to class together, nini, and then you've gotten pregnant. So, as in naturally, even you yourself, your life kind of changes. Your life stops for a while. Stopping, I don't mean that now you've become disabled or something. <laughs> like when the reality finally hits you that you're going to be a mom. That your life is changing forever. You know about being a mom, there is no break. And even if you have that baby and then the baby, God forbid, that baby like loses their life. You still have that title forever. Okay? So for a young person is like 19 or 20. Losing friends is so common. I see that on TikTok. I see that... Uh, with my friends' comments who have had babies, it happens. You lose your friends. And even you, your mind, as as your mind just matures, you see having a baby at that early just makes your reasoning and everything change. It makes everything to change. So even you yourself, there are some friends that you just naturally stop associating with. And it's normal, okay? So don't feel bad if you're losing your friends. Those The friends you're supposed to have, those who are your true friends will stay. Those who are not, who are just there for the good times or like the happy times, they will go. And that's okay. As you grow, even if you don't have a baby, as you grow, there are friends that you drop along the way. So it's nothing new. Okay? So chill. Uh, someone talks to me about feeling unworthy. Why are you feeling unworthy, baby girl? Don't feel unworthy. Like there's nothing bad that you've done. Okay? Me just feel like I was seeing this car video where different shapes are entering through a hole at different times. Then that thing rotates, brings up another shape, and then that shape is able to pass. So if it's not of that shape, the things keep rotating. So we, the same way we mature differently in life, the same way we get babies achieve different milestones at different times, is the same way life is. That those will have their babies at 19 or 20. That those will have their babies in their early 30s. That those will have their babies in their early 40s. And even lately, there was a lady who had her baby at 70 years. Okay? Sarah of the Bible had her baby at 90 years. We are all different. Okay? So don't feel unworthy just because you're pregnant. Don't stop yourself or your life from moving. Keep moving. Keep doing you. Okay? I know like for the time that you're pregnant until you have a baby that is the truth at least that is what i experienced you'll be what is it called for lack of a better word, let me use detached you'll be detached from the society from the environment like it is a you thing okay but d d don't let it make you feel unworthy it's like your life is now taking that turn the, your life is now changing so you are uh, more alone most of the time even if you want to go out you just don't feel like going out it's like you're taking that time to take in the whole thing to uh, to take in the whole process of uh, making a baby giving birth taking care of the baby until when give yourself time hmm? give yourself grace that you usually give to people who not give the same grace to you take time to absorb it all in and it shall be well. Because, huh? let me tell you the truth. Mimi, when I got pregnant, I was still going to school until around June. Is it June? 
or July, I think, is when I stepped to be able to school because I was told to be on total bed rest. Yes. So, and now I'm on total bed rest. I can't go out that much. My friends should not come to visit. My sister would come every other day that she used to have time. She would. Then my boyfriend will come, his relatives. So it was it was a nice thing, okay? But after having a baby, just taking care of the baby. You see, they only have been able to go back to my old self when my baby is like two years. Like Saizi, at this point in time, is when I'm feeling, I've begun feeling like my old self, the person I was before having the baby. Saizi, so I can go out, I can just spend my time out there. I can I can plan my things like I can live a life outside being a mom or being a wife you see so give yourself grace nothing is permanent with time you'll feel better with time you need to go out there and for the time that you need to take care of the baby just take care of the baby don't hate the baby don't feel angry just it will be okay okay and that brings us to the next point that was for postpartum depression. They say pregnancy has three trimesters. I usually add postpartum depression as the fourth trimester <laughs> because it's crazy, especially when you're 20. You see, as I've already told you at the beginning, this life has no manual. When you have your baby, you have to figure out everything, especially your first child. You don't know what to do. <laughs> Did that come out right? So what happens is that um, you learn with them. As you take care of them, you learn the art of motherhood. Every day brings new challenges. Every day brings new joys. But that experience is so fulfilling, at least for me. Like That is how I feel. Every day has its own hardships. Every day has its own challenges. Every day has its own I don't know, but at the end of the day, you feel fulfilled. Like, I look at my child right now, and I'm just like, oh, my God, I did this. Literally carried the pregnancy to town, pushed that baby out, took care of the baby. He's now two years and six months. I'm so proud of myself. If you're out there, no one has told you you're doing a good job. Girl, you're doing a great job. I'm doing a really good job. So, keep going. Postpartum depression is real. I had postpartum depression. What scared me is that even for people who have multiple babies, say that they experience that with like two or three children. So and then I realized also, it's about you, okay? It comes with the uh, wanting to do everything. Like, let me give my own experience. I had a whole support system when I had my baby. I had people to help. I never lacked any basic need, any time I needed. Like, I was comfortable, okay? But then it's about you as a person. You want to do everything. You don't want help. Me, I remember, I didn't even want Bazu to be touching the baby. I didn't want anyone. I used to feel like they'll not take care of the baby the way I would. And it becomes overwhelming on you as a mom. So if you want to avoid postpartum depression, you just accept help. The moment you accept that you need help, that is the turning point. People will help you. That doesn't make you any less of a mom. Anytime you feel like you're overwhelmed, talk to someone. Tell them. It doesn't make you any weaker. It helps you. It helps your mental space. Get help. Talk to someone. Go out. Hey, Looking yourself in that house will not help you any, in any way. I, I know there are some days that you'll be told, oh, don't take the baby out before this number of days. Just even taking the baby out to sunbathe. Or uh, if you have a balcony, just sitting on the balcony, letting the sun shine on you. Like, just feeling the fresh air outside is very important. It will save you from a lot. But if you're just in that room locked up, you just go to the bathroom, shower, go back to the bedroom. And I know that is what the society expects everyone of us to be doing. Don't do that. I almost said don't do that shit. <laughs> don't do it. Leave. Like, don't stop leaving. Don't turn into a shell of yourself. 
okay be productive go even on social media do something like me just putting a camera in front of me and recording is to keep me sane and i know that those who have to go to work and you just had a baby and then you're struggling with finances my heart goes out to you but just remember that in everything that happens the worst is never the worst like you've ever been in a situation and then you you sit back and think wow the other time i was in a situation and i thought it was the worst but this one and imagine you still overcame it so the worst is never the worst just keep moving okay sending you love and light you'll be okay mm -hmm. i've already talked about feeling unworthy lots of I weight gain weight gain is another now for me it was the opposite i see uh, a lot of ladies like 80 percent of ladies gain weight during their pregnancy and also after having the baby and then they start shedding that weight after like even two years or from nine months going forward and people body shame them people say all the all kinds of things which is so wrong Manze, it's a lot just carrying that baby to town it's a lot on the human body honestly you never feel the same maybe i see i post my pictures and people are like wow your tummy is flat you have a nice frame you don't look like you had a baby what you don't know is that before i had that baby my tummy was flat <laughs> okay i will try and get pictures of before and after then you'll see the difference like there are some stretch marks here on my waist on the sides that I got during the pregnancy. I never had stretch marks on my stomach, but I got them on the side of the waist to go candle. And those stretch marks have refused <laughs> to ever disappear. Me, I don't mind stretch marks. I've, I used, I literally had stretch marks since I was like, what, 14? And uh, it's okay. I don't mind about stretch marks, but I'm just thinking to a person who never had stretch marks and how they are feeling. Appreciate your body. It's such a deal. Just love your body. Appreciate your body. I know it will never feel the same. Personally, my lower back has never felt the same to date. I'm not even lying. Like, there's some activities I can't even do because I literally feel my lower back getting so hot. And then the way I used to, to want to do everything immediately after having the baby also affected I think I don't know if it contributed or it was just the pregnancy, but yo, and imagine I used to get massages like so frequently, like daily. Because we would massage my lower back, but it still hurts. Even this day, like I go out there for work. When I come back, I try to lie down and my back is on fire. I feel like you see that rolling pin for rolling down to make your party. <laughs> I feel like I need that. <laughs> it's it's hectic, okay? The body changes. So I just want to tell you, girlies, be proud of yourself. You made a whole human. It's going to be okay, okay? Like, I'm personally planning to enroll for a gym class. Not because someone has pressured me into it, because I want to, okay? And uh, for me, let me tell you a funny thing. Like, immediately after having my baby, I lost 10 kgs. I remember when I, before having Kilian, I was 65. Then one week after having him, I was weighing 55 kgs. I lost weight. So I was looking so thin because naturally I'm a tall person. So when I, when you're a tall person and you lose weight, you appear very slim. Like compared to a short person who weighs the same, you can't look the same. I remember going home and everyone was just like, what? Oh my God, I've lost so much weight. People are even saying I don't have food. And you know, there, is, there was a lot of food in my house. Like one thing that you can't come to my house and lack is food. So <laughs> how dare you say that, Ati? Dinakonda because I'm breastfeeding and I don't have food. You're sick. <laughs> you see, sometimes those comments sway on you because you still have those pregnancy hormones even after having the baby. They stay for some time before leaving. So you'll feel bad, but nowadays, looking back, I just laugh, because what the hell was that? So I even realized that, so those who gain a lot of weight, they're still trolled. If you don't gain a lot of weight, if you lose a lot of weight, you're still trolled. So humans will remain to be humans. So do you, run your own race, stay on your lane. 
you just had a baby, your body is going to probably take the same time the baby was inside your body to to heal. So be kind on yourself. Give grace to yourself. I'll keep repeating that. That grace that you give those people who don't deserve it. That grace that you give your cheating boyfriend. <laughs> give that grace to yourself. Okay? You got this. Araya. Would you advise someone to keep the baby if they don't have money? God. <laughs> God damn it. What kind of a question? What? Would you advise someone to keep the baby if they don't have money? Hey, Mimi, I'll just say I'll not choose for you what to do. Because that question usually elicits a lot of... <laughs> a lot of fights and whatever and conversations and bitterness mimi i don't want to comment about this <laughs> but i'm telling you all you need to know is that if you're not ready for a baby abstain or use preventive measures please that's a whole other discussion you can have with your gainer or medic and then they'll advise you because a baby is not cheap babies are expensive let me tell you before, just uh, I was just looking at the life that we used to live with Bazu before I even got pregnant or something. Like, life was so simple. Like, there are some things that we wouldn't mind. Like, mkikosa maji. Like, tusema maji imepoteo, amna maji. You don't even mind you. You can just send mtu mkokoteni, I buy like three vibuis or four, and you're good to go. With a baby, you can't. You'll start wondering here, Maji may talk up. You try to find the best place to live. The be they have to have the best like of everything. Even a house that you'll go when you're alone, kitambo to shaga shaga, you can't go there with a baby. Okay? So a baby is not cheap. Buying diapers. Maybe they you have to substitute the milk, you need to buy like formula. You have to eat well even as a breastfeeding mom. You have to eat a balance that when the baby starts winning they need good food and snacks as in life changes a baby literally changes your whole life so if you're not ready just protect yourself just abstain if you have to <laughs> because it's not fair to just have a baby and then have them go through so much hardships i don't know there are some people who are not blessed maybe I don't dictate that for you, but when I'm just telling you the truth, babies are not cheap. <laughs> Good morning. Baba is wanting. Ah, yeah, I'm in a shoot. Mm. <laughs> there is my personal person. Mm -hmm. And then the last question that I was asked if you are to do your 20s again, would you do the same? <laughs> you guys are putting me in the hot seat. If I was to do my chances again, would I do the same? Mm -hmm. I've had to ask my nanny to take Killian because he's going to make a little noise here. He doesn't want to just sit and wait. Yet I have to record. Okay. Um, I said I'm going to be honest with you guys. No. If I was to redo my 20s, would you do the same? Would I do the same? I mean, I don't regret any part of my life. I don't regret anything, literally. <laughs> Like, I know Kitambo, I used to feel like, ah, I regret, ah, Zijinini, like, for the other things that happened in my life, not this. But then I came to realize, ah, there's something, some things you just can't change. And, uh, you find your way to live through them. Mimi, I am a believer of things don't just happen. Things happen for a reason, things happen because it's the right thing for them to happen, for any believer. That is what I believe in, okay? So, if I was to redo my 20s, I'll still have the same same man. I'd still have the same 
baby. I still want Killian to be born by me. I'd still want Bazu to be Killian's father. I'd still want the same family. But to end, if I was asked to give my advice to any person, you do you. But if you're not ready, protect yourself from unplanned pregnancy. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. But I'd wait. I'd wait for some time before having the baby. I still want the same baby, but later. Like, not that I, not that at a later age is the best for having a baby. I just feel like I'd want to finish some things first in my life. Like, right now I'm juggling with a lot. I have to go to work. I have to go to school. I have to be a mom to Killian. Then there's my social life. Then there's my now relationship with Bazu. Outside that, like, there's five things that I'm juggling. So I'd want to finish school. I don't want to be more settled. And then, now the baby. But, the, our dean was telling us the gowns that are supposed to be worn by women. There was the school uniform, then the graduation, then the maternity, then the wedding. So they're supposed to be worn in that order. You're supposed to wear your school uniform, finish your high school and primary. Then you wear your graduation gown, that means you're done with campus. And then you wear well, your wedding gown. Wedding comes before maternity. You wear a wedding gown. And then you wear your maternity gown. So they're supposed to be in that order. But again, he said, but if the order is reversed, that doesn't mean that you failed in any way. Just make sure that you don't miss any of the remaining gowns. That was some really good advice, okay? So I've already worn my school uniform. I've worn the maternity. I've not worn... The wedding gown and the graduation gown. The graduation gown is coming sooner, so God help me. And then the wedding gown. Who knows? The wedding gown might even come before the, <laughs> the graduation gown. But no, I want the graduation gown to come before the wedding gown. So God help me. Another thing is the... Let me just touch up on this. Some, I don't know how I missed that question. Good thing that I've remembered. Someone asked me, does the body heal? I think I've talked about that. The body doesn't just feel the same. For a, maybe it will feel the same as the years go by. But I realize that those who have their babies at an early age, their bodies bounce back or heal faster than when you have your baby at a later age. That one even my mom told me because she had her babies in different years. There were five of us. So <laughs> she has all the experience that can be used as a reference. And also I was watching a video of a certain YouTuber who was also telling the same. She had her baby at 31. And uh, her sister who had a baby earlier, like 23 years. The body bounced back faster. But again, different people have different bodies and have experienced things differently. I don't know. So maybe when I have another baby at a later age, we'll compare. Then we'll see. So, no. so that's what's up, guys. Ask me any other thing that you want in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the video. I hope I did not scare anyone for anything that I said and can be scary. Please forgive me. That is just my personal experience. And again, different people have different experiences. If you're a mom and you have a different experience, let us know in the comment section. So that's it. Kindly consider subscribing if you haven't. Like this video, share the link with your friends. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Draw to a thousand subscribers. Please subscribe. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.